Grinding poverty remains the reality for one-fifth of the world's people. 1.3 billion subsist on less than one dollar a day. You know, the change in our pockets is what people will survive on. Nearly 30,000 children under the age of five die each day from poverty-related causes. That's where poverty hits the, the toughest. It's the greatest affront to human dignity. The struggle against global poverty can seem daunting, even overwhelming. But Grameen Foundation USA offers a new vision and new hope. It is leading a movement that has already helped millions break through to a better life. I saw vegetables. Sometimes I would make less than 50 cents. I would use it to buy a little food. Patience Iyamu lives in Benin City, Nigeria. Widowed at an early age, she struggled to support herself and her two children. Then she heard about LAPO, the Lift Above Poverty organization. With Grameen Foundation USA's support, LAPO employs a bold new strategy, microfinance. It makes small loans to almost 20,000 poor women to help them start and expand tiny businesses. Microfinance, also called microcredit, is perhaps the most powerful anti-poverty strategy ever developed. I rented a grinding machine with the money. I said to myself, this is very good. With greater income, she was able to feed her family and put her children in school. With more loans, she has purchased her own machines. On good days, I make ten times as much money as before. Microfinance almost exclusively serves poor women. Women are the primary target of most microfinance organizations because they're the most underserved. They've also been proven to be better fighters of poverty. Lending is based on social collateral. People support each other and hold one another accountable. For LAPO, social collateral has produced a repayment rate of 97%. The answer to poverty came from an unlikely place, Bangladesh. In 1976, Muhammad Yunus, a young economics professor, made a startling discovery. Many productive, hard-working families were starving because their only access to working capital was through loan sharks. He founded Grameen Bank, which now serves more than three million borrowers. Ninety-five percent are women. Almost half of Grameen Bank families have fought their way out of poverty. Today, almost 50 million of the world's poorest families put microloans to work. More than 100 programs use the Grameen model to break through poverty. But with 3 billion people living on less than $2 a day, the untapped market for microfinance remains vast. Grameen Foundation USA was created in 1997 to meet this challenge. It helps scores of up-and-coming microfinance institutions to reach for the scale and success of Grameen Bank. The very nature of microfinance allows the foundation to use supporters' funds with great efficiency. You put money into the system and it gets lent to a borrower and then it comes back and then it gets lent again and it comes back and it stays working indefinitely. It's not spent once and it's gone. In India, Grameen Foundation USA has helped three partners grow from 45,000 members to 300,000 in just three years. To sustain this tremendous growth rate takes money. Grameen Foundation USA has developed new ways to mobilize the funds its partners need. The foundation uses contributions from supporters to provide guarantees to Indian banks, who then provide loan capital to the foundation's partners, in amounts more than ten times the original contribution. Financial innovation has triggered innovation in technology. Grameen Foundation USA's Technology Center is implementing flexible, easy-to-use information systems that will allow its partners to share data with banks, 
and with donors. And it is bringing new technology to poor people directly. In Tamil Nadu, India, Grameen Foundation USA is giving members of ASA, Activists for Social Alternatives, the opportunity to set up a new kind of business, helping their neighbors gain first-time access to the Internet. And in rural Uganda, where people often live isolated from mainstream life and commerce, the foundation has launched a cell phone initiative. Micro-entrepreneurs use loans to buy handsets and effectively become the phone company in their village. $25 to $28, that's what I can get for a crate of peaches. And I am going to harvest 10 to 15 crates per week, per week. Andrea Perez Vasquez is a member of Al Sol, Alternativa Solidaria, in Chiapas, Mexico. With several loans, Andrea transformed an overgrown hillside into a peach orchard. Things have changed a lot. I can live without worry. Al Sol serves over 3,000 women in Chiapas, where 90% of its citizens live below the poverty line. Grameen Foundation USA and Al Sol feel an urgency to reach many more women. But like all young microfinance organizations, Al Sol will need a substantial infusion of funds to fuel this growth. Grameen Foundation introduced Al Sol to a group of businesswomen from Dallas, Texas, who have made the commitment to help Al Sol more than double in size. Microcredit uh, represents opportunity. And what I've been given, what my generation of American women, we've been given opportunity. So the great thing about microcredit is it lets me give the gift that I've been given. For the first time ever, a strategy consisting of millions and millions of small loans is battling poverty at its core. The beauty of microfinance, what gives it such great potential, is that it is a solution that can be implemented on the scale of the problem of world poverty. Grameen Foundation USA connects donors who have a vision of a poverty-free world with microfinance professionals. If you want to immediately plug in and make a difference, Grameen Foundation unlocks that world and offers it to you. Philanthropy is needed to help make that dream a reality. You can make the difference with your time, talent, and resources. And your gifts have the unique opportunity to be used again and again. Join other investors in the microfinance movement to break through to a world free from poverty. <laughs>